Hi guys, we're gonna jump into our fifth day of figurative language. I think today is probably the hardest one with idioms, but we are going to go ahead and jump into this. We have gone over four types of figurative language. First, simile, which is where we compare two unlike things using the words like or as. So this cake tastes like heaven. Metaphors are a comparison of two unlike things without using like or as. Those best friends are two peas in a pod, okay? Hyperbole is just that over-exaggeration. Our new car cost us an arm and a leg. Did it really though? No, okay? And then yesterday we talked about personification, where we're giving human qualities to non-living things. The sunshine kissed my face. Did the sunshine really kiss you? No, you just uh, shine shone on your face, okay? Today we have idioms, all right? These are going to be a commonly used phrase that have um, where the figurative meaning is very different from their literal meaning. So if I say it's raining cats and dogs outside, that is an idiom, okay? Because it's not really raining cats and dogs. It's I just want to say that it's raining hard. It's one of our weird sayings that we use, okay? So another example would be when Bill joined the military, dad said he was swimming with sharks. Swimming with sharks would mean in trouble, but again, it's just one of our weird phrases. I know that I've used the in a pickle example a lot, but an in a pickle would definitely uh, be the same as this uh, um, as well. It's just one of our weird sayings that we use. Where you think about it, what we're literally saying does not have anything to do really with what we are figuratively saying. Okay, when translated into another language, idioms don't make sense. It's really hard for people that are learning English to pick these up. Many idioms have historical explanations, which we'll get into, okay? We tried to give Tommy, so I want you to think about what the meaning of this idiom is. We tried to give Tommy a surprise party for his birthday, but you let the cat out of the bag. Did we really let a cat out of the bag? So did we tell a secret or did we let his cat run away? We told a secret, right? It's just one of our weird sayings. Alice was feeling a little under the weather, so she asked her mom if she could stay home. Does that mean that she's sick or that she's afraid of thunder? Definitely means that she's sick. Again, it's just one of our weird ways of saying it, okay? Jude was on pins and needles waiting for the results of the test. Does that mean that Jude was nervous or that he was confident? It means that he was nervous. Think about it, okay? When you're on pins and needles, you are nervous. Shauna was feeling blue after her best friend moved away. Was she actually feeling blue or was she feeling somber or sad? Okay. If you use some elbow grease, that spot might come out of the rug. Is that the laziness or hard work? Think about it. Think about the way that it's used in the sentence. You're going to have to use your context clues on these guys. Okay. Carter is off the hook. What is hard? Is off the hook for missing his assignment because he was sick. Does that mean that he um, is not having to do something or he's sick of working, okay? When you're off the hook for something, it means that you are you don't have anything. You don't have to do something, okay? Since our vacation was rained out, we need to go back to the drawing board. Do you actually have to go back to the drawing board? Or does that mean that your first plan didn't work out and you have to plan again, okay? We're going to do a couple more of these. Oops, sorry, I did not mean to skip those. My computer shut down unexpectedly, and I had to start my essay from scratch. That means from the beginning, but it's our weird sayings. My music teacher makes me learn my songs by heart. We say this, but do we really mean that we use our heart to learn them? No, it just means that they're from memory. Our example of um, songs is 21 Pilots today from the song titled Stressed Out, okay? Wish we could turn back time. So when they talk about turn back time and a stone's throw away, those are idioms. All right, you have a, um, your show it, okay? So go ahead and complete it. It should be posted on Buzz. If you have any questions, please let me know.